Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Because it lets you design pages visually, it's tempting to treat Dreamweaver like an image editing program. However, Dreamweaver's main function is to convert your visually designed pages into HTML code. Therefore, using Dreamweaver to modify images is not always the best idea. As you've heard in previous lessons, it's always a good idea to open an outside image editing program if you're resizing or cropping an image. Imaging programs like Adobe Photoshop are also very helpful if you want to display a rare typeface on your site. You can convert text into an image using these types of programs. Imaging programs like Photoshop also give you way better save options for your images. If you look, you can see all the different save options you have. And saving within Photoshop gives you much more control of your file sizes in a way that Dreamweaver will not. Preparing your images ahead of time using another program like Photoshop will also help you to organize your site before you even start building it. This will undoubtedly spare you some headaches in the long run. Additionally, you may know more at this point about your image editing software than you currently know about Dreamweaver. It may be easier for you to prepare images using a program that you're more familiar with and then use Dreamweaver to build your site. Most professional web designers prepare both the text and the images for websites before they ever open Dreamweaver. Because it's so beneficial to prepare your images in an outside imaging program, TeachUComp Incorporated has included several bonus Photoshop lessons with this title. They will teach you how to crop, resize, and save files using Photoshop. To learn more about Adobe Photoshop, please use TeachUComp Incorporated's Mastering Photoshop Made Easy title. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.